so I just want to say the special schools will not be opening this Thursday. Unfortunately, it's not open because again, these children, special needs children with autism and different learning disabilities or different um, physical disabilities, they need you know they need care and they need people around them. Um, and unfortunately, you know, again, the normal Foley, the Minister of Education, I don't know how she's still Minister of Education, I don't know why, because she keeps throwing everybody else under the bus. Um, there's nobody to blame but herself, because she never thought of Plan B. Um, the same with the Leaving Side, like, she won't acknowledge, like, she's literally killing young people um, with stress and annoyance. It's not, she's not, I couldn't be bothered the way they whine about normal, what normal Foley takes. Um, but everybody else, I know people that are absolutely just, like, literally peeling the skin off. Because they're that stressed. Um, and it's hard to blame. There's no Foley to blame. She won't make up her mind. Um, and she's just making people suffer. Like this is what Noble Foley is all about. And the, you know. The parents. As we speak. There's parents with special needs children. You know. They're struggling to get asleep. They have to mind in 24 hours. They watch some of them 24 hours a day. 7 days a week. Um, and they have no help. And they have to struggle. They have to juggle, juggle that. And they have to juggle life. And they have to juggle. Maybe in a workplace. They have to work from home. You know. This is. That's not an easy task. I'm sure people agree with me. That's not easy. Um, and I can understand the SNAs, and she threw them under the bus now before. She literally threw them under the bus, blaming the SNAs, blaming the unions um, for not going back. And could you really blame them? Because OT, 24 hours, they spread and it's, you know, keeps going on about deaths and everything like that. It's, it's causing fear. It's causing fear. No wonder people be scared to go back into any burden um, and worried about going back. And these, some of these teachers, some of these SNAs, I know one SNA, you know, not too far away from retirement. Um, and these people have health problems and things like that, and they're worried. They are worried, they're genuinely concerned. And Norma Foley comes along and just fired them under the bus. There's nobody to blame but herself. Norma Foley's the one to blame, the one who's over special education. But it's Norma Foley to, to blame, because how does she never foresee this coming? That there could have been another lockdown. Like, they had plenty of time to make up a plan to have some kind of idea how they're going to do it, how they're going to do it. Right. Um, and they just sat down and said nothing. Norma Foley was more interested in, in annoying six years trying to get them into the schools. Um, which was never going to work in the first place because the buses weren't one and things like that. It didn't make much sense, am I to say straight? Um, it doesn't make any sense to have mock exams on. It doesn't. Where's where like where's logic? Like the logic. The stu- like the students in my school, for example, this one that couldn't log on today, to nearly half twelve. Nearly nearly the day was nearly over the time, because the reason why he said that was so bad he couldn't connect to any of the cards. Didn't have a clue what he was doing. Um, and this is a leaving school student, again, number 40, not a cow, not a damn. And again, but the school bosses, like, number 40, I don't know where they got you from. But, you know, I don't think you're ever going to get in again. Because, literally, this woman is gone on the one page. Like, literally, this woman's literally out to annoy everybody in the country. Like, this is what she's trying to do. Like, you know, these parents at the moment, they have been left in the dark. And they have been left in the dark. Because they're doing, they're doing the work of six or seven people. Um, and caring for people that, you know, caring for children that have special needs problems or physical needs problems. Um, and they obviously, you know, with them going to school, you know, it's a bit of rest for them and a bit of, you know, a bit of relaxation for them. Um, because they have to balance everything and it's a hard job. It's not an easy job. Um, but it's unfortunate that they did say, and they couldn't put, it's, a, it's how they kept renting a place, like not even without going into the school. That they couldn't send them to the house or something, they'd send them to the house or do it outside or something like that. I know outside is not the best probably place. Um the cold and the wet and the wind. But um in the in some place you think they would have found some kind of facility they could have had been able to cope with um dealing with students, local community centers, things like that. They could have used the brain, but again, this country, logic doesn't work. Um but no more folly, I'm telling you, you're never going to be seen again in the polls. Um, because you barely, last time you got in, you were a first time TD, and the first time I said, when I heard about you going as Minister of Education, I said to give you the benefit of the doubt, and I did. But again, I was wrong, I was really, really wrong, I said you were a first time TD, I wouldn't go too hard on you. But um, I'm going extremely hard on you now, because everything's literally, like, the world is just a train wreck, like, literally, you couldn't make it up. Like, in England, at least, they have some common sense, you know, some of the TD ministers and TDs over there, um, in the House of Commons, you think they won't have a brain in their head. Boris Johnson, for example. Well, I don't know where how he became Prime Minister, but my God. Um, but at least he has some common sense to not put students through an exam and, and worry them sick. Um, and the, we're the only country in the world that has the special needs schools all closed. I think in the UK they even have some kind of wage to remain um, for special needs schools. Again, this country has to be different, has to be something different. Um, because they just don't have any logic. And I don't blame the teachers, I don't blame them, I'm blaming Norman Foley. Like, you know, this, like, again, this is just a perfect example. Like, the letter that they put released 
basically just threw the teachers, threw everybody under the bus. No blame of the government at all. No responsibility taken. No signs. No, nothing like that. No pay rises for these um, SNAs that have to go, you know, have to put up with a lot and have to do a lot. Um, nothing like that. Going to be pay rise for Norman Foley. Don't worry, that's in the post. Um, but again, you know, well, well, is any logic? Like, I don't mean to laugh with this, but where was the logic? Like, seriously, any, like, you know, what kind of, you can, you know, you have to ask yourself, what? Like, seriously, just what? Um, because normal forty, literally at this stage, she fucked over the leaving source, she's fucked over the parents, she's fucked over the parents of special needs children, she's uh, abandoned the children with special needs, she's fucked over everybody, in the, literally everybody in the country by not telling them, will the leaving source go ahead, because people are worried, everybody knows somebody's a leaving source student, I'm sure. Um, and they're probably worried. They are, you know, they are concerned. Um, and she just fucked them over. And simply said, she's fucked over everybody in the country. It's like she hasn't even mentioned the junior sort. Um, and she's just fucking them over too. Like literally, like you literally couldn't make this up. Um, like literally, she's become public enemy number one. Like literally, um, like it's just it's a, it's a crazy time. It's really just crazy. Um, and now she's talking about sending the children back in February to leaving some students. Doesn't make any like you know locked lockdowns things like that doesn't make any sense anyway. But you know um country lockdown you know <laughs> basically nothing's supposed to be gone. Like it, I don't know I really don't know I don't know where they get the logic from. But sure look at the more we know the more you know <laughs> that's all I'm gonna say. But um hopefully they find some kind of solution. Um as I said so, like, they could have used local community centers and the SNAs could have you know, used the local community centers for some children. Um. Yeah, they could they could have looked at something, but they didn't. They didn't care the look. The department didn't give a damn. Um, it just goes to show you. Don't remember the next election, people from Kerry. Um, remember what Norma Foley did to children. Um, remember that. Don't forget it. Um, thank you.